Hi, and welcome to this video on how to connect to your Windows Server using Remote Desktop. Uh, it's quite a simple video, uh, it's just worth running through if you've never done it before, so if it's your first server, it might be something you're not too sure about. So we'll just run through it quickly now. So the first thing we need to do um, is make sure we've got our server access details, and depending on the product you've got with Fasthost or another provider if you found this with another provider, um, they're going to be in our control panel if you're with another provider i'm not too sure where they'd be but i'll run through with fast uh, we've got a couple so we've got all these different types of servers but generally speaking it's all going to be pretty similar dedicated and virtual would just be listed like this so we just go to the section click on the server you want to connect to now these are not windows servers so uh, the username will be different but this exactly the same process and we could just reveal that there and I'd have the password. And the primary IP address is there and that's what we'd need to connect to. But again, um, this is a Linux one, so I'm not gonna connect to this one, but exactly the same for a Windows server. So you need the IP address, you need the username and you need the password. One for Cloud Linux servers, let's quickly pop into that. Just go to the panel. And from your list of servers. So if I wanted to connect to this Outlook 2016 server, there we go. So we've got our host name, which is the IP address we need to connect to, the user administrator, and the initial password, which there shows, says show password, which you can do. I'll do it in a second when I'm about to connect. And now once we've got that, uh, if you've got it on your shortcut, which I have there, you can just connect there. Otherwise, if you need to find it, just type remote in here and we need the remote desktop connection app, which should be installed by default. Otherwise, it'll be available on the Windows Store. So here we're going to enter the IP address. This is a server I've already had before, so it's already in my list of IPs here. But you would normally just type it in here. So 77.68.79.1. Cool. Now you can just connect now and it should come up with a login screen, but I'm just going to show you a couple more options as we're here already. So if we click expand this, we get a few more options. So we can see the username here. Don't worry too much about that little bit at the start. If you're not sure what you need, literally just delete that bit and just have that, uh, that slash administrator um, and then it'll, it'll work out for you. So don't worry too much about that. And you can allow to save credentials if you're using a private computer and you don't want to have to enter your username and password every time. And one of the real useful thing that's just quickly worth noting is the local resources. So if you've got things connected to the computer that, that you're using to connect using remote desktop, you can share those resources with your remote server. So printers and clipboard straight um, sort of straight away there. But if we click on more, we've got a few more advanced options. We can add our local. We can share our local drives, and what that's going to do is allow you to use those local drives on the remote machine. So, just a nice, easy way of working. If there's a, a lot of resources you've got that you need to use with your remote server, we're not going to share any of those for now. We're just going to go ahead and connect. So, connect there. And at this point, it's going to ask me for my, uh, it's already put the user in from the previous screen. And I just need my password, which is going to be here. And just copy that. And paste it in there. And you're going to get a warning uh, to say the identity can't be verified unless you've actually specifically gone in and set up um, that um, but that's going to be something completely separate from this video. But you know you're connecting to your own server here, so it's absolutely fine because we haven't set up any SSL yet. That's why you're getting a warning. And there we go. OK, so I'm connected and that's really all there is to it. So one little thing worth noting is you can minimize that remote desktop connection um, and just move it and just bring it back to full screen if you want to. Um, or you can just minimize it in your bar. Easy. And if you want to do, there's a few keyboard shortcuts that are worth noting here. So normally if you press your Windows key, it would bring up your menu. 
so that still works on your remote server but if i press control or delete now for example that would uh, lock that would bring it up on my local machine rather than on the server so real useful resource here is just them um, so remote desktop server shortcut keys because they're all slightly different so if you wanted to control or delete on your remote server you'd be able to find that shortcut on this page which i will link in the video description and that's really all there is to it thanks very much for watching goodbye for now